Hey, welcome to the first episode of the Skills for Life podcast. We have certified Benji, actually the creator of the logo for Skills for Life, which is really cool. So he's our first guest we're going to have. He's a graphic designer. He uh, edits videos as well. And I actually have known him for a long time, so I thought he'd be the perfect first guest. Um, before we get started, we have two programs for youth, the Discover Your Path program as well as New Age Mentorship program. So you can check that in uh, the video description. Or you can check it out on our website, theskillsforlife.ca. Uh, so if you could just introduce yourself, like what you do, how old are you, uh, who you've worked with in the past, um, just like your origin story, um, that would be great. So I go by the name Certified Benji, and I'm a 17-year-old entrepreneur. I do a lot of stuff, but I'm mainly known for the business that I run, Certified Design, that does content creation, branding, and consulting at different times. But I've worked with a bunch of artists, sports teams different things like that like the toronto raptors the maple leafs also artists like little tecca murder beats a whole bunch of different people in a whole bunch of different industries and yeah i do almost everything logos lyric videos and yeah it's quickly sparked i've been doing it for like about three years but it's quickly sparked over the last two years so i know you've um started like quite a long time ago like a few years ago now um, how did you first get into it? Like, wh what sparked your interest? Um, and why did you continue with it? Um, because a lot of people have hobbies. A lot of people um, have a lot of hobbies, but you decided to turn it into a career and take it a lot more serious. So uh, what was that transition like uh, being in you know, high school, middle school, and, and learning about graphic design and later uh, getting into different fields like you're talking about? Because um, obviously you do more than just graphic design. Uh, but how did you first just get interested in the business and, and, and graphic design? First, I got started into graphic design through like family and through like people at my church. But after getting into a hobby, like I found out that I can get money from it or I can make some sort of audience and work with a lot of different people that you know I looked up to. So the fact that I had that side of it. So like I started off in grade nine, like doing cartoons for different people and I was able to just sell it to pay for my lunch money. So that like sparked me an interest on like continuing to do it. But other than that, like I started to work with like people that I would listen to music like I listen to their music and then also other people that I would look up to and it just opened so many doors so I just continued to do it but like I found the passion for it after doing it for so many times and I just stuck with it. So into the next question um, just turning that hobby into a career obviously you talked about um, you figured out you can make money from it so to a lot of students out there graphic designers who want to work with you know artists like Lil Tecca you know Roy Woods a lot of these artists they look up to or maybe it's not musicians maybe it's athletes or or brands they want to work with um how did you manage to find opportunities at first are there certain things you did certain places you look for like what, what do you recommend building like a social media presence in order to start or or where where would like a person who started similar to you start i started going to a lot of events so i was meeting a lot of different people but when i was was at these events i had my social media so a lot of people that i was meeting would interact and then would get each other's Instagram. So definitely having a good social presence is key. So a lot of people could see your work, see what you can do, like see where they can get value from you, as well as just looking into different things that align with what you're doing. So if there's an event, you can go to an event. If there's a live stream, there's a lot of live streams these days. You can tune into stuff like that. There's so many different resources for different industries. So I think looking into like what someone really wants to do could help you figure out where you want to start and figure out the steps that you need to to get to where you want to be what do you attribute your success to because a lot of people start um and don't become successful right a lot of people it, it definitely takes a lot of hard work what what sort of attributes do you have that you feel like have helped you like hard work consistency what do you think is the most important trait someone can have in like an industry like graphic design or anything creative where it requires you to sort of stand out because there's a lot of artists out there um, there's a lot of people who make content like me and you but only very few uh, are able to make a living off of it or or get some opportunities. So what do, you, what do you attribute your success to? I think to having a strong why, because you can do a whole bunch of different other stuff. Like there's creative, you can have a job, there's different stuff like that. But when I truly understand like why I was doing what I was doing and had like a true purpose to it, I started to, to put in more hard work and do a lot of the other backend stuff, like a lot of the fundamentals that you need to build a good brand a good business but it was having a strong why like a reason why you're doing it and me starting off like i wasn't in the best position like financially with my my family and stuff like that so like getting money was obviously a good thing but also it was helping me like 
get myself out there to the world and meet a lot of like-minded people, you know, and just growing through the field, like it helped me, you know, navigate through life, learn a lot of different things, help me figure out what I want to do with my life, you know? So I think having a strong why is definitely key. And I could always go back to that. Even if I don't want to do graphic design later on, I'll have that strong why because, you know, if whatever I'm doing aligns with my goals or my why, it, it works out, you know? Uh, I wanted to touch on the finances part. Uh, like, I definitely learned a lot when I was starting out. Um, like, all my money went back into the business, right? Like, my first computer, um, you know, all, all the sources thing that's com- that comes with creating, like, my first camera. With Skills for Life, a lot of the events we run, um, we talk about financial literacy. Why do you think it's important to know your finances, especially as a young person? Because I feel like a lot of people would be tempted, you know, to spend their money, especially when you're young, spend your money, like, just anywhere, like the first paycheck you get. Uh, what did you learn financially when you first started out and started making money? How did you manage it? Uh, what mistakes and lessons did you learn from that? I started managing it. Like at the time, I didn't have my own bank account. So I was managing it through like a Google Doc because my parents are overlooking it. So like, I would just know where my money's going and I would know like where I'd be spending. So I developed that habit very early because I didn't have my own account. But the things like now that I'm looking into are sort of like investing or like seeing where your money's being put because you could you could spend it on different checks you could treat yourself here and there but I, like making money very young I've learned that if you invest it early it's a lot better for you later on in your life because you know us having an opportunity to be creative and make an x amount of money in a like uh like the time that we do it's not a normal thing so if you're able to invest that money or just keep it to the side and not really spend it save it put it towards something else like invest in yourself those are a lot better than you know just treating yourself or like buying food like uber eats and stuff like that like i really think if you know where your money is going and you know like what you're doing for and all of that it's just sort of connects like you just manage it efficiently like you're not just spending i live on my lowest means right now because i want to invest it so i could have that money later on yeah for sure i think yeah. similar to me um, a lot, like I didn't start really, really saving and knowing where my money went until like last year when all the pandemic happened before that I would be making money, but at the end, like, I, I don't know where the money went. Like I would spend it and then I would look at my bank account and it just don't have money, but I was making a lot of money. So I, I think recently I made a conscious decision to really know where my money's going because I'm, I'm working hard for it. I, I think a lot of people, um, sh- should really take that with them where you're, you're spending hours working, um, you know, designing in your case or or me i'm making youtube videos i'm running this podcast stuff like that i I work hard for it so i think it's really important to know where your money's going uh, and not just leave it in your bank account or spend it because there's ways to make that money into uh, to money and and i feel like um you you touched on being young and how you can actually like invest that money it makes you a lot more i feel like a lot of young people don't know about compound interest uh you know like making your money make money because there's ways to be million a millionaire um, investing only a couple hundred dollars a month, um, starting at like the age of 18, there's, there's ways to do that. And I don't think a lot of people are, are completely aware. And I only learned that like very recently in the past like year or two. So I definitely think it's important and, and definitely investing back into the business. Um, so what, what do you think, what's an example of something you've invested in into yourself, like a piece of gear or what, what do you think is the best purchase that has helped you, uh, build your business? It doesn't have to be one thing. It could be multiple things. Just any, yeah, like I think I have thing. really two big things. One's my iPad. I have an iPad Pro. Like I, the process, like when I work, the process is a big part of everything. So I usually sketch out everything before I do go to finalize it or just to put together like different sketches to go to like whatever the client needs because I overall like focus on what the brand is. So like I usually make different sketches or different things so we could choose from them. So the iPad was definitely a good thing for my workflow work a lot faster do things a lot more effectively and the second thing is like the studio space that i'm in i was able to use like a lot of the money that i made and then made like a really good workspace where i could do whatever i need to do like shoot any videos do podcasts like this be able to work you know i think having a great workspace is very effective so me having this designated space for the work that i do really helped out like i don't sleep in here like i usually have two designated spaces so i'm focused and yeah i agree yeah i i think I think since the pandemic happened, because you're, you're working at home and this is going to be your main workplace, I think it's important that there's no distractions, there's everything you need. I definitely think um, that that way, um, you know what you're doing when you go down here. You go down 
to your room, to this workspace for a certain reason. I think uh, knowing what you're doing is is very important. Similar to like knowing where your money's going. Just ha having a, a reason why you do everything is very important. Like similar to how you touched on your why. Um, so yeah, um, that's really about it for like your journey, all that sort of stuff. I want to talk about your future plans, uh, where you want to go with it. Because I know a lot of people like personally like hear me, oh, I'm a YouTuber, um, you're a graphic designer, but there's definitely more you want to do. Um, and a lot of people in, in the sports world, entertainment world, they expand beyond what they do. Like athletes um, have gone into investing. Um, if you if you look at like Kevin Durant, LeBron James is in movies now. Uh, wh where do you want to go personally? Even if it's not on that huge scale, like you're on Space Jam 2, uh, just, just as you as like transitioning from a graphic designer to a business owner to something else, what do you have planned? I definitely want to start brands of my own because I work with so many different companies and different brands. So I like developing that process, but I want to build something for myself that I can invest into as well as like I'm getting um, into post-secondary. So I want to see the different opportunities that open doors for like where I want to take my life in like the next like 10 years. So definitely opening into those things, but I'm into a lot of other stuff. So I want to also build my personal brand where I could highlight like the different characteristics about myself and about the stuff that I do. Cause I'm, I work a lot of behind the scenes. So if I could shed some light on the process and like the other parts that make the final product happen, I'd love to get that out there. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of ideas that I have. It's, it's pretty much just figuring out what works in the timeline and strategizing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the last question I have, um, and this, this, I think I can answer this too, but, uh, you talk about you're entering post-secondary, you're working, uh, for a lot of people who are trying to find work, uh, work-life balance, whether or not you're a student uh, or a parent or, or trying to do a side hustle, like how do you recommend uh, people do that? For me personally, like I, I would do it on like weekends. I would do it like basically anytime I didn't have school. Like how have you been able to sort of balance it? Uh, when do you make time to do certain things? Um, and, and just your plan when it comes to just balance, how, how, do you, how do you manage that? At first I was balancing it through just taking note of the stuff that I need to do, like using my calendars and different stuff like that. But I, I found that like as of right now, like I've just been grinding and taking a lot more work and a lot more different projects. So I use this program called Asana, similar to like Trello or any oh, other yeah. productivity organizer. So I have a lot of stuff into there. And yeah, I find that just seeing how you spend your hours and really focusing on like what you really need to be doing really helps to see where your time management is. If it's not for you and it doesn't really align with what you're doing, like I don't think you should take it. Yeah. Like for me too. personally, like I don't use Asana. I, we actually use Asana for skills for life. All the employees here, we we actually use Asana as like a sort of like a group place where where we can assign each other tasks. But yes. I I've been using Notion and I know that it's pretty popular. A lot of people have been using Notion. Asana uh is pretty popular as well. But I personally I divide like I, I make different to do lists for different parts of my life, you know, like work, um, client work, I'll make a to-do list for that school work. I'll make a to-do list for that. I think knowing exactly what you, you're going to do is very important because, um, a lot of people know they have to do work, but, uh, they, they don't know how to break it down. They don't know what to do first. I think it's really important to know what you do and, and what you have to do right, right when you decide you want to work or else you're going to go and get distracted. So very similar to like, when you enter this room, your workplace, you know what you're going to do, right? I think it's very similar. You should really know why you're doing something, not just doing it to be productive. It, know exactly what it's going to help you with. Um, and yeah, um, I, I've personally been like doing this stuff since like the ninth grade and I'm in second year university now. Um, and, and you've been doing it for a long time now. So I, I definitely think it, it's possible because like as students, we've done it. Um, and I feel like, like if you're young, it's actually the perfect time to do it. You know, because you don't have a lot of responsibilities um, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's that's basically it for this podcast. Um, we thought we'd just bring on guests um, who are young, who you guys can relate to. Um, if you have any suggestions for any guests we should bring on in future episodes, let us know in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, uh, anything you want to say, like plug yourself at the end right here. I'm going to put your Instagram on screen right now. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, my Instagram is certified.benji. And I'm gonna start YouTube soon, so I'm gonna come back to YouTube. So it will be certified by as well. So in the next few months, you should see a lot of content coming out. All right, sounds good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. 
uh, make sure to like this video uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube. Um, and make sure to share this if you're seeing it, seeing this anywhere else. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.